As many of you know, all of the Orlando parks were closed for three months or more, and many were curious how SeaWorld was going to handle the current state of affairs. Which leads to the question, will you feel safe at SeaWorld Orlando? Well, of course, masks are mandatory, just like all major parks in Orlando. And what's even better is all of the SeaWorld employees, including entertainers, have to wear masks all of the time. And yes, this includes entertainers in the shows. This works so well because now they serve as excellent role models for the kids watching. Everyone wants to be like performers, so now the kids, and adults for that matter, can look up to people wearing masks. Pretty much everything interactive that once involved direct physical contact is closed off. And in case you're wondering, this even includes the popular water play area in Sesame Street Land. And unfortunately, this does include the Stingray Encounter. The only exception to this that I've seen is the upcharge games. This is the one area where it seems like SeaWorld may be sacrificing safety for profit. My recommendation is to simply not play the games. All the major rides, including roller coasters, are seating every other row. With the smaller rides, like Infinity Falls, they are seating one party per vehicle. Perhaps the best new feature they've implemented is a face covering relaxation zone, as demonstrated here by my partner, Taryn. <laughs> now, in my opinion, they should have someone monitoring this area for social distancing, or at the least have tape on the ground to signify where parties can and cannot stand. Perhaps you think I'm overreacting, but that brings me to the next part of the video. Only about 85% of guests were abiding by the rules and actually wearing masks. Now, I still felt safe because I didn't get near them, but it is a shame that some people do not understand the severity of the situation. I'm not trying to get political, I just really wouldn't want a small incident to close down any of the parks. So as we go down the Infinity Falls line here, take a note at how many people are wearing masks. In this instance, it doesn't even seem like it's the majority. Overall, did I feel safe? Well, yes, I did. I just wish they were a little more strict with the mask policies. For example, I've seen other parks that have active reminders from employees with microphones. So for all of these reasons, I'm going to give SeaWorld a four out of five for a perceived safety rating. You may ask, why is this perceived safety? Because there's no way of me knowing how safe these measures actually are. I can only give my best guess based on the protocols observed. Now, personally, my rule of thumb is I just don't touch anything. No handrails, no doors, and I bring my own water bottle. What do you think about these park policies? Comment below to let me know. And if this was helpful, be sure to subscribe. Have fun, be well, and thanks for watching Quick Trip Travel Tip with Ari. And Taryn.